Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Thursday. Beautiful morning out here. High tide's about an hour away. I'm out on the end of the boardwalk in area four. Clear blue sky here this morning. Nice and flat out there in the Gulf. I'll walk on over to the water here and see what it looks like. Still no gimbal. It's going to be a little bouncy here as I walk over there. Bear with me here while I walk down the steps. Gorgeous out here though this morning. I forgot to check the temperature, but it is really nice here. It's starting to finally starting to cool off. It's gonna be hot though this afternoon. But right now it's beautiful. Oh, I see one of our great blue herons way down to the south of me here. Try not to get you seasick here. A bunch of little sandpipers out here in front of me. The other day when I came out here, we saw a couple dolphins. That was fun. For those of you wondering how our friend Roy is doing, he's doing great. He's doing good. Roy is on the mend. It's going to be a while before he's fully recovered, but fully healed. But everything's going well. Look at all those little sandpipers. Can you see them down there? Running around on the beach. Right by the edge of the water. It's like a little army marching along the beach. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Some nice shells out here this morning. Let's see what we can let's see if I can spot anything here. It's kind of tough without that gimbal. There's already been a few people out here shelling this morning. There's a lot of little shells up here on the beach. There's a little nautica shell. Just 
the little one. It's got some really nice colors on it though. A little chip on the side. A little nautica. There's a big slipper shell down there. It's a nice little slipper. The slipper shell. Flip it over, and it looks like the slipper. What else might be along here? See a lot of fighting conch shells. Oh, here's something cute. Somebody made a little heart out of seashells. A little heart. And then, right next to the heart, <laughs> Is that what I think it is? Oh, it's broken. A murex. Let's have an old murex shell. That's kind of neat, that hole in it there. Piece of a murex. I thought I saw a little olive down here. Yeah, a little olive shell. There's a little olive shell. A few nice little shells down here this morning. There's a nice little worm shell over here. That's a neat one. Look at that. That's a cool looking worm shell there. That's a nice little worm shell. That's a great worm shell right there. That's definitely a keeper. Where's those dolphins? I know they're here. They're out there somewhere. Look how flat it is. Just amazing. Clear sky, look at that. Clear blue sky. Flat. Flat Gulf of Mexico. The water looks really nice here. Really nice. The sun's not quite hitting it here. There's one little spot over here where you can see how clear the water is. Right down in here. Beautiful. You can see all those shells down there. Tide, hallelujah. There's some really little waves washing up on the shore here. Nothing much. few people out here this morning already enjoying the beach. Wow. 
boy, oh boy, the car carriers. The big car carriers are starting to arrive in Naples. Everybody from up north sending their cars down. That's the first sign here that season is just around the corner. The arrival of the car carriers. They were just coming down 41 yesterday, one after the other. Looks like we're gonna have a really, really busy season this year, a busy winter down here in Southwest Florida. It's getting cold early up north, so that's why everybody's heading down. They'll probably head down early. I know some of you were talking about snow. You've already had your first snow. <laughs> Crazy. down here. Nice little scallops. A chip on it. Turkey wings down here. What all do we got? Piece, piece of a moon shell. Looks like a little piece of a moon shell down there. Just there's the eye. They also call them a shark eye. That's just the eye of a moon shell. The shark eye, the moon shell. Just the very tip of it there. Beautiful shells. Maybe we'll find one here. There's a, is that that same Murex? Nope. That's a different Murex. Another big broken Murex shell. That's the second broken Murex I picked up here. That'd be cool for a necklace. It's got a hole right through it. That's a nice Murex right there. No turkey wings yet, darn it. Usually we'll find a bunch of turkey wings. But lots of little shells here. Again, I don't have the gimbal with me. I apologize for the bouncy camera here, but I'm doing the best I can. I just wanna get you, wanna get everybody out to the beach. So beautiful out here this morning. Wow, no turkey wings down here. All I'm finding, finding plenty of the mossy arc shells, the mossy arcs, but no turkey wings. They're kind of similar in the shape, the mossy arc and the turkey wings. These are mossy arcs. No turkey wings out here yet this morning. Oh my lord, there's a piece of an old, looks like a piece of a banded tulip. Look at, no, or is it a whelk? Let me see. No, that's a piece of a whelk. Sorry. Piece of a lightning whelk. That would have been a beautiful find if it was. One piece there. That's, they call these twisties, the stems. 
and you find them like this, the inside of the lightning whelk shell. Beautiful shells. You can find some nice whelks here on the beach. Find pear whelks and lightning whelks. Here's just a piece of one, a piece of a big lightning whelk. A fighting conch. There was a, quite a few fighting conchs out here this morning. There was a lady coming along just picking them all up. Uh, she missed one, thankfully. The Florida fighting conch. Just gorgeous. Another little murex shell. That's a nice one, a little apple murex. Look at that water, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Just like yesterday and the day before. Beautiful. The sun's just starting to hit the water. You can see the bottom there. Yeah, you can always Google, you know, the water conditions in North Naples, in Naples, and find out what they are. Real simple to do. Get the current conditions. But the red tide is gone for now. Who knows if it's going to come back. You never know. Ooh, there's a little moon shell. Is it in one piece? Yeah, it's got a hole, but it's still nice. Nice little moon shell, little shark eye. It's got a little hole on the side there. That's actually from another shell drilling into it and getting the snail out from the inside. It's kind of amazing how they do that. That's a nice little moon shell. sign of any dolphins yet. There's a nice look at the water there. there's just this big little this big ridge of shells see it right along here this is up in area four i'm just looking at the surface here i haven't dug down into this pile at all there's a nice little ridge of shells along here i'm sure if somebody came out here and spent a little time digging around they'd find some really nice stuff a little jewel box shell, half a jewel box shell. So many beautiful little shells. Different colors and patterns. I wish I knew the names of all of them. He's 
of a fighting conch, an old fighting conch shell. I'm gonna walk up here just a little further. Trying to walk slow here. I don't wanna make anybody seasick here. Without the gimbal, it's hard to keep the camera steady. Hoping to see some dolphins swim by this morning. Mornings like this, it's really easy to spot them when it's calm like this. snowy egret that flew through there. Lots of little worm shells, worm tips down here on the beach. See quite a few of them. Lots of these down here this morning. Actually found a pretty nice little worm shell this morning. That's a pretty nice little worm shell right there. Tide is definitely starting to come in. Starting to cover up the shells, seeding down here. The water is already coming in. It's so peaceful out here this morning. So quiet. seen maybe a handful of people walking the beach, shelling, fishing. There's another broken lightning whelk down here. Dolphins, where are you at? So nice walking the beach without stepping on dead fish. Ugh. That was awful. That was awful, our red tide. That was just terrible. It seemed like it lasted forever. Thankfully, thankfully there is no red tide out here now. Things have cleared up.
I am seeing a lot of worm tips and worm shells on the beach this morning. There's a big, big piece of a worm shell. It doesn't have the tip. There's the, looks like the top of a banded tulip shell. That's the very top, just the tip of a banded tulip. Love to find one of those. I have to find a nice big banded tulip shell. Still no dolphins, darn it. I thought they'd be making an appearance by now. Holy mackerel. There's a mountain of shells right down here. That is a mountain of shells right there. <laughs> this is just piles and piles of shells. Turkey wing shell there. Look at all these little worm shell. Piles and piles and piles of shells. Definitely worth spending some time digging through here if you come out to the beach today. This is up in area four. Up where Roy would be sitting, up by the pine trees. I just saw something big here. I saw a big slipper shell. Now I lost it. Gosh darn it. I saw a really big slipper shell. I was going to pick it up. And now I can't find it. crazy how that works. There's a really big slipper shell down here. Where did it go? There it is. That is a big slipper shell right there. It's one of the biggest ones I've picked up here on the beach. What's it going to look like underneath? Oh, it's in good shape. You see why they call it a slipper shell. That is a big slipper shell. Look at that. That is a mound of shells right here, all out here. Right up. Right up where Roy would sit. There's the pine trees, there's Audrey's bench is right up in there. And this huge pile of shells is right out here. This is the north end of parking lot four. If you were to park at the very north end, just walk out to the beach, you're gonna come across this big pile of shells. It's another broken lightning whelk, darn it. 
There's a nice big lightning whelk. Love to find one of them. It's just a piece of a lightning whelk. What's left of a lightning whelk. Seen a lot of broken nautica, nautica shells and moon shells. Almost, almost a whole lightning whelk. A little one. It's just missing the tip of it. Almost. Oh, there's another top of a tulip shell. Darn it. Why am I just finding the tops of these tulips, these banded tulip shells? I want to find a nice banded tulip out here. I'm sure there's one buried out here somewhere. Maybe next week I'll get that gimbal replaced so we get a little more steady videos here. Getting really close. A few people have sent some donations in. It's I'm just so close to being able to get it, but just gotta do things one step at a time here. Just when I think I get ahead, you know the story. Just, you know, financially, just when you think you get ahead of the game, something else happens. Something breaks. You get car trouble or something. The dishwasher breaks or something. That's what it's been like lately. One thing after the next. There's a little piece of finger coral down here. Actually, whoop, a couple pieces. A couple pieces of finger coral. It's kind of sad. It means our the coral reefs are dying when you find these broken pieces of coral. Kind of a sad thought. Another broken nautica shell there, looking up at me. Quite a few of these, just lots and lots of these worm shells, worm tips on the beach this morning. That's a nice one. Little baby fighting conch. Little baby Florida fighting conch shell. There's a scallop shell. A worn scallop, nice size one. Got a hole right through it. Darn it, no whelk shells this morning. Seen quite a few broken lightning whelks on the beach. But Somebody must have beat me to them this morning. There's a nice 
There's the side of a nice big lightning whelp. Look how flat it is out there. Still haven't seen any dolphins though. Absolutely gorgeous. I haven't seen all the pelicans. Boy, the last couple times we were out here, we saw lots and lots of pelicans. I haven't seen them flying by. Might have missed them. Probably missed them. They usually come in from the north. I don't know where they hang out, but we see them. They usually are flying. They're coming from this direction down to the south here behind me in the morning. So I don't know where they hang out. Maybe up at Barefoot Beach up there. It's where they have their roosts, their nests. Where they roost. They roost in their nest. I guess that's what they do. <laughs> Gonna go a little further up here to where the beach narrows. Every once in a while it says that last 50 yards is when I get lucky. Darn another piece of a big broken lightning whelk. All I'm finding is these pieces of the whelks today. If you enjoy these little beach walks, be sure to tell your friends about them. Make sure you like Southwest Florida Television, like and follow. The beach walks will be getting a little better here. Hopefully within the next few weeks. Once I get my camera gimbal here, I can spend a little more time out here. Spend more time shelling. Patiently walking the beach, hoping some dolphins will swim by. But the big news, the big news is there's no red tide. That is the good news here at Del Nor Wiggins in North Naples, Florida, no red tide. The water's starting to clear up. It's not 100%, it's not back to normal, not pristine, but there's no red tide and it is definitely, definitely clearing up. No ifs, ands, or buts. No doubt about it. What do we got down here? Nice big moon shell. What did I say about that last 50 yards? It always pays off. Nice little moon shell. For some reason, this last little stretch of beach, I usually find a moon shell or a murex shell. And there's a nice little shark eye, a moon shell. And there's a piece of a sand dollar. And we've got a a lot of sand dollars here. Sadly, the red tide killed off a lot of our sand dollars here. There's a piece of one. Do you know about the doves? Do you know about the doves inside of a sand dollar? The little doves? Let's see if I can get one out here. Just don't ever do this to a live sand dollar. Where might a dove be? Huh. There's none in here. 
That's unusual. Oh, there's one. They call these doves, these little, I don't know what they are. They're little baby sand dollars. That one's a, that's a hard one to see. But they look like little doves inside the sand dollar. Not a good example. That was an old, old dead sand dollar. If you Google them, you'll see them. They'll show you what they look like. They look like little doves, they're pretty cool. Coming to the end of the road here, as far as the beach goes. This beach is about a mile long. If you consider that beach now up here. <laughs> it's pretty well eroded up there. Another nice little pile of shells here. There's a nice little cockle shell over there. Nice little cockle. Great looking cockle shell. Another, another darn it, another broken whelk down there. Today was the morning for broken whelk shells. Old broken whelks. Take a look out into the water here. No, nothing, no dolphins swimming by yet. I don't see any pelicans sitting out there either. Usually when there's pelicans out there, that means there's schools of fish out there and then the dolphins usually show up. Awful quiet this morning. Look at the water. Really starting to clear up nicely. You know, if you're new to these beach walks, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Never know what we're going to come across here in the mornings at the beach. It's usually always something different. We do see a lot of the same, the same common shells. Like the Florida fighting conch here. But sometimes we find something really unique and interesting. Just never know what Mother Nature is going to wash up on the shore for us. I'm going to turn around here, walk back, see what we missed. I think the neatest thing I found this morning was this big, big, big slipper shell. Look at the size of that slipper shell. Normally they're about half that size. 
That's a huge one. Huge one. You call it a slipper. You turn it over. Use your imagination. See how it looks like a little slipper? I apologize for the bouncy camera work again. I'm walking without a gimbal here, nothing to stabilize the camera. My gimbal pooped out on me last week. So I've been saving up some money. People have been sending in some donations here to replace the gimbal. Hopefully, hopefully next week I'll be able to order a new gimbal. If anybody wants to help out, make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Nobody pays me to come out and do these walks and enjoy doing it. But I do hope you learn something from them. I try to share what I know with everybody. I don't know a lot. <laughs> but what I do know, I try to share. With lots of birds flying out. It looks like terns out there in the Gulf, flying by. So a lot of little sandpipers this morning. Lots of shells on the beach up here at the north end of the park. If you're new to shelling, there's plenty of nice shells up here to start a collection. Lots of beautiful shells to get you started. There's an old whelk shell. It's an old lightning whelk. Lost all of its color. Lost all color. There's another piece of a larger old lightning whelk down here. The stem of the lightning rope, they call that a twisty. I know a lot of you are wondering how Roy's doing. Roy's doing great. He's recovering well. He's still got a ways to go, a couple months. He's hoping to be able to make it out here to the beach for his 94th birthday, December 20th. He'll be 94 and he's hoping to be able to come out here and celebrate with all of his beach friends. Everybody, of course, is invited. Everybody, mark that day down, December 20th, Roy's 94th birthday. We'll have a nice little get together here. We usually have a little cookout and have snacks all day long here and make a day out of it. All of his friends. Getting real close to high tide here. And then we're gonna have our next low tide. It's gonna be around four o'clock today. That's another, that's a good time to be out here shelling at low tide. When you can get out in the water, out on the sandbars. Usually some great shelling out there. It's real easy to get to this to this park, to Del Norwegans. 
you're on I-75, you just get off at Immokalee Road. That's exit 111, Immokalee Road. You just go west to the end of the road. Immokalee Road dead ends at Del Norwegans. Same thing, and I'm 41, just go west at Immokalee Road. Couldn't be any easier. And there is an entrance fee, of course. It's a Florida State Park, unless you have a pass, a Florida State Park pass, you do have to pay an entrance fee. And that's based on the number of people in your car. It's not too expensive. This little pile of shells there, waiting, just waiting calling out to someone saying, come dig through me, come sift through me. I've got lots of treasures here waiting for those that want to spend the time looking. Good morning. How are you doing? We've seen some nice shells this morning. Picked up some little beauties there. I got a few in my pocket. I usually never go home without something, much to the dismay of my wife. There's a little cockle shell over here. A little scallop shell down here. Like I said, there's always something nice here. I doubt you're gonna go home empty-handed when you come to the beach. You will find something. Look at that scallop down there. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, for those of you just tuning in, no red tide. No red tide. That's a little snowy egret walking along in front of me there. Walking up onto the beach. Just amazing, this little ridge of shells. I know there's some great stuff buried in here, this little ridge of shells all along the edge of the water here. Give you another look at the water here. Seeing is believing. Oh boy, there's a big, big school of fish. There's a big school of fish jumping out here in the water, probably Jack, way out there. No dolphins chasing them though, darn it. But it's good to see them out there. Pretty far out, hard to see in the camera. Just 
beautiful. Uh, the blues out there this morning, beautiful colors. Boy, they're going crazy, the fish out there. I was showing you the water here. Just verifying that it's clearing up so you can see with your own two eyes. Spread the word. So we look up to the north here. It's gorgeous. Well, hey, thanks for watching this morning. If you like what you see and you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Right now, it's going towards purchasing a new gimbal to steady up the camera here. If you want to contribute, you can find my PayPal account information in the description of this post at the end of the live feed. Thanks for watching. The good news is no red tide. We've been red tide free now for several days. Let's pray that it stays that way. Hey, be sure to take the time to check out my photos and videos here on Southwest Florida Television. Sure, you're gonna find something you like, and when you do, hit that share button, hit that like button. Our little beach community here is steadily growing. We're almost up to 23,000, I think, 23,000 likes, 24, 25,000 followers. Kind of cool. The more the merrier. Thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.